Hi, this is Lon with Walking and Rolling Costumes, and I'm going to talk to you about how we put together the Dusty Crop Hopper costume for this little wheelchair right here. So, as you see, we've got all the parts laid out. Now, this is in a lot of different parts, but this is mainly because we're going to be shipping this costume to a family in another state. So we had to build it so that all the parts could easily be flat and be shipped together. Um, once it goes on the wheelchair, I'll, I'll show another video of how it comes off and you don't have to break it down into this many parts. But this is the first section, so we're going to talk about step one on what you're going to need to put all this together. The only tools that you will need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Everything else is Velcro and zip ties, which are included. So here, let's get started. So the first piece that you'll want to put on is this piece. This is going to house the wings and the front of the plane. You'll notice on the bottom there are two screws sticking out of the bottom. That's so that you know that's the bottom and the other side is the top. So what we do, the armrests that are on this chair, this is designed to go directly onto the armrests. And the screw that I showed you on the bottom actually goes into the pipe and will stop you from going too far. So once it doesn't go any further, that's where you stop. So there's the first part of getting this costume put together. Next step we're going to do is we're going to put the top onto the nose of the plane. So you'll notice there are four strips of Velcro along with Velcro all around the edge. Now these four strips have the straps, so you're going to pull them all just so that they're attached in the center, and you're going to slide them so that they're on the inside of the pipe. And then you're going to bring them around and strap them to the other side. Okay, now that we have the top strapped on to the, the frame, next part we're going to do are these little blocks of wood. They have uh, Velcro on two, two sides of them and nothing on the other two. And what we're going to do is we're going to place these on, on the Velcro strap that was underneath this uh, top panel all the way around. We're going to put three on this side, two on this little angle side, one in the front, and then the same thing over here, three, two, and one. And you want the Velcro you know, attaching up and sticking out. So you're gonna do it right at the edge as well. So you're gonna do something pretty much like this. Now that we have all the wooden blocks Velcroed around the, the top, we're gonna add on the sides. And those are the panels that are half orange and half white. They even have the Jolly Wrenches logo on them. So this one, the Jolly Wrenches logo goes on the angled part. So you're going to put this, and it also has Velcro along the top edge of those. So you're going to stick those directly onto those blocks that we just put on. Another piece that's going to go on this side. Finally, the one that has the, the U cut out of it is going to be so that the propeller can still stick on. Stick that on the front. Now once we have those, we have two little Velcro straps that are separate. That, those go in the bottom corners of these pieces down here, and it's to connect the three panels together. So we'll go ahead and stick those on the back side. And that's the front section of the plane. The next piece is the propeller. We have a, a wooden dowel with a white tip to it and a propeller. Stick the dowel through that. And there's a, a little spot in the front of the wheelchair to put this right in. Don't have to go in too far because it will allow it to spin. There we go. So that's the front edge of the plane. Okay, next section, we've got the front uh, part of the plane done. We're going to put on the wings. So this first wing, the sevens are going to uh, be facing the back with the orange stripe across the front. So this wing is going to go on this side, and it slides right in between these pieces, these T pieces in the, on the main frame. Take two of the screws, and there's little holes already drilled and everything. So you'll screw these in and they will secure the wing in place. 
one on that side and one right here. Now, the nice thing about these, once you get the wings in, you'll notice that the plane is actually too wide to fit through a doorway. So, what we did is we designed it so that if you're going through a doorway, these T's that they're attached to actually pivot so that you can squeeze through a doorway and then when you get back down, you can lay them back down. And that screw that was in the bottom of the frame that tells you, you know, you, you've gone too far is also works as a lock to keep this from going down too far. So serves dual purpose. As you see, we've got both wings on the Dusty Crop Upper costume installed and we're ready for the next section, which is the tail. So if you look on this particular wheelchair, there's an orange bar across the, the back. Uh, it's like a handle to pick up the chair. As well, it's got two orange little uh, connection points that have a lot of holes in it that are great for attaching zip ties to. So what we're gonna do, this little piece here is the PVC frame for our tail, and we're going to, to set it in there right next to the, the corners of the uh, orange frame. And then we're gonna take zip ties and put them through the T, out the other side, and back up through these holes that are in the uh, frame. And once we attach the zip tie, pull it very tight, because you don't want this one to move. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. After you make sure that you have both of those zip ties really tight, uh, then you're going to take another zip tie, and there's a there's a bar going that's holding up the seat cover, and there's little holes in between it. So you're going to go around that, and this one you're just actually going to attach it to the zip tie you just attached. And what this one will do is actually hold the whole costume uh, flush with the rest of the chair. So pull that one really tight, and I'll tie everything really snug. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to be ready to put the tail on. Those are both really tight, so this frame isn't going anywhere. Next step. Take this tail, and we're going to put the tail, this little notch up front is going to go on the orange bar that's part of the wheelchair, and this bigger notch at the back is going to go around this frame that we just installed. Just slide that on, like that, and there is your tail, like that. Then you have your dusty crop hopper tail. Okay, the final step for the dusty crop hopper costume are the wheel covers. These will cover the uh, face of the wheel, so just to give it a little bit more decoration. The way that we do this is we've got four little notches around the wheel cover um, that fit a zip tie, and they will zip tie them to the wheel itself. Now, if you look closely, the handrail that you grab when you're driving your wheelchair is attached to the wheel by little tiny pegs all the way around. These vary on wheelchairs from six to eight to possibly more uh, little, little places that we can attach. Um, since this particular wheelchair has uh, seven, <laughs> it's different than the wheelchair we actually built this costume for. The costume we built for has eight, so that's why we had four holes around the template. But basically what you're going to do is you're gonna put a zip tie in here. Oops, make sure it's going the right direction. And then you're going to string it through around those little pegs that attach. Now, I would not tighten them very tight at the first one uh, because it makes the others a lot more difficult to put on. So just kind of get it on enough to make it loose, but not going to slip off until you get all of them on all the way around, then you can tighten them together, tightening them opposite sides until you're all the way done and the thing is completely flush against the wheelchair wheel and it'll look something like that. And once you do that, 
to cut off the little extra pieces that are hanging off. Um, that'll help keep it from getting in the way of the child driving the chair. And uh, then after that, you can put the wing back down. You can put the headpiece on top of the child. So that as they're driving, they'll look something like that. They can see out the front and the two sides. And this is what the finished costume would look like. And there you go. Dusty Crop Hopper. Thanks for watching.